Hello, my name is Visor, and welcome to game 40 of Let's Play Game Dev Tycoon. Last episode, we made Luigi's Chainsaw Roundup. It's going to make us some pretty good money. Not an amazing amount, but it should help fund our research. Though technically, we're actually completely done with our research. The only thing left is doing our own convention, and I think that's a complete waste of money. Instead, I think we'll do maybe a hardware lab and put the budget for the R&D lab at about half a million. And just have them generate more research points. I don't want to do the hardware lab right now, though, because I don't quite have enough money to make a new console. Hopefully our next game will make us enough money. So speaking of our next game, the idea is from Callan Zombie. It goes, The gods have punished you for a heinous crime that you've committed. You have spent the better part of your adult life trying to appease them to no avail. Now Odin and Thor need you to do the impossible. Kill Loki and assume his spot on the throne as the god of trickery. Your arsenal include seltzer bottles, ventriloquism lessons, and magical spells to make illusions as you carve a bloody path through known Nordic mythological monsters. You are the hero in Gods of Norse. Rated M for Mature and a triple A action game for the PS3 or 4. As for the name though, we probably could go with this one from uh, Eastbound Spider. Bajorn Slor Zar Rota Orm some. Another lesson in see visor butcher other people's languages. I'm not even gonna try to copy that, or not even gonna try to type that, I'm gonna try to copy that. And good, that works out. So I'm thinking we'll do this as a triple A game, because, well, that's the plan for our next game, which is the sequel to Deus Equis. So we probably should get some practice in, try a few things out. Now, he also said mature, so we can go with that. Genre, I'm fine with it being an action. As for the topic, Hmm. I mean, medieval works. I don't think it's quite alternative history. Anything else? I mean, we could try comedy, but I don't think this is very funny. Apparently, I'm killing all the monsters. I mean, I guess I could be killing them with laughter, but I kind of doubt it. So let's go with... Really, I need mythological, but I don't have that. The closest thing I can think of might be alternative history. So let's go with that. Platform. You know, this is an action game, so we know the play system 3 is good. What else do we have, actually? Hmm. Action, action. Well, Inbox 360. Hmm. I mean, the PC's always an option. Yeah, let's go with that. Do we have alternative history action? No, we don't. Oh, well, so we'll go with the Inbox 360. I guess if we really wanted to, we could also do the Oya, oh yeah, but uh, I don't think that's going to be worth it. Actually, let's see how well the PC's doing. Oh, the PC has the highest market share now. I guess I'm pretty sure it does. Let me check the other one. Yeah, PC is higher than the Mbox 360. Interesting. Well, PC's not bad with action games, and we know it's good with mature games, so let's get that as well. There we go. Game engine. Is that still that engine we gave away for free? Yeah, next episode, we're also trying to make a new game engine. I don't know how long it takes to make a console, though, so we'll see what we end up doing. If it does it in, like, a year's time, maybe I'll do a new console for the sequel to Deus Equis as well. But other than that, I think that does it. I don't think we're going to ever experiment with uh, MMORPGs ever again. I don't think they're worth it. Anyway, new research available, custom hardware. Son of a bitch. Huh. Let's, well, I want to have that in place if we do one, so. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe the research is for the hardware R&D lab. Yeah, that would make sense. But this is one of the things I was worried about. Apparently with AAA games, to do a marketing campaign, you actually have to do it through here, which is bizarre. So we'll try to do this. For this size of a game though, I think we need to raise the budget to about one and a half, maybe. Hoping it works. Yeah, I don't care that strategy games are popular. We'll do one and a half here. There we go. Industry news. Okay, so... Yada, yada, yada. Inbox 360. One. Whatever. It's coming out. People are pissed. Of course. I mean, you've, this is recent history. You know what happens. But I also need to get my research lab going. Ah, okay. Let's do the first part. Since this is an action game just like last time, I'm pretty sure that this stuff will work. Though I did make a mistake. I really should have Marcus here. 
Since dialogue is not important anyway, I can actually have them do dialogue and gameplay. This is a better mix of our, well, this is a better use of our stats. In terms of features, gameplay is fine. Storing quest is fine. Well, actually, maybe linear story makes more sense. Actually, I could do both. Right, this is a triple A game. We can do more stuff. Okay, so how much more can we do? Okay, so we can do advanced cutscenes. Moral choices? No. Let's just do advanced cutscenes then. Yeah, I'm happy with that. As for the engine, we should be able to do everything. Yeah, we can do all the things. Yeah, we definitely need to research more stuff. However, since we're doing store and quest, I guess we need to research more store and quest stuff and more gameplay stuff, not more engine stuff. Of course, I'm talking about Deus Ex, which we're doing next episode as a AAA game. Anyway, that should do it. Actually, since I... Yeah, it should be okay. I put nothing here for Jennifer. She's doing 20%. So Mark is currently at 80%. He should be able to handle the rest. Marketing campaign. I guess it's this thing here. Actually, let's... Where is that custom research? Start project. Right, there we go. Hmm. All right, so I guess we could do this. We'll start the project just to get it out of the way. Though I'm thinking if we actually do this, this definitely means that we can't make a custom console for Deus Equis. We just don't have the money for it. Unless this game we're making right now is a complete winner, which I think is not that likely. And we still need to do... All right, so the PlayStation 4 is coming out as well. This is a little tricky because basically it looks like when Deus Ex sequel comes out, we're going to be doing a new console cycle, which means all my data is not that great. I mean, you could try to assume everything will always stay the same, but it's obviously not true. For example, if you look at the Play System 2 and the Play System 3, I'm pretty sure, yeah, RPGs changed. So there's a possibility that for the next generation, all this data we collected so far isn't that useful. We can make some assumptions, but we're not really sure. Oh, well, let's just try it, though. Anyway, we also need to do some research. Or marketing, sorry. We'll do a large campaign. Two million is not that big of a deal. I'm spending 2.5 millions per month anyway. So we'll go with that. We need to boost some people. Engine work is done by Erica. Or is it Jonathan? One of them. Well, somebody's doing engine work. E3 is coming up as well, so that should be good. Let's boost. He's doing level design. It's Marcus. I want to save Marcus. No. Dialogue is not important, so I guess I might as well do it him now. And maybe wait for a little bit and then do Jennifer. Those, her section's pretty small. I can probably boost her right away. Anyway, let's look at this media inquiry. Hmm, do I want to hype this? This is an alternative history action game. I'm actually a little iffy, so let's be modest. Because I think, in terms of overhyping, only that media inquiry can fuck you over. I think general overhype probably is okay. You know, here's the backlash about the inbox one. Yeah, as expected, you know what happens. They back off a lot of their stupid claims. Anyway, G3. Oh, since this is a triple-A game, I actually might have enough time to finish both of these. The big concern is whether I have enough money to actually make a console. We'll see. We're number one booth again. Excellent. That number didn't really go up by much, but whatever. We have 1.2 million fans, though, so that's kind of cool. Anyway, looks like our research. We're almost at 200 again, which is fantastic. We can get one more specialist. Or no, do I need another specialist? Yeah, I need one more specialist. Then I need to start working on the game engine. So, I think we're going to be... No, wait. Visors on graphics. I don't need any more specialists. We're going to use all these research points on the game engine next episode. We're definitely at least doing a game engine. Still not sure about the custom hardware, but other than that, we'll see. i also really worried about this marketing campaign. What if I finish this, like, finish the game before I finish the marketing campaign? What's going to happen then? Did I just waste all this money? We'll see, I guess. Anyway, Marcus is on dialogue. He's at 100%. Perfectly fine. Let's put in all the features that we can. Yeah, we definitely need some more features. This is... I'm pretty sure if we get some more features, we can get more benefits out of our AAA games. Anyway, other than that, Simons is fine, so let's keep on going. Let's 
seed. We're doing dialogue, which was Marcus. Oh, I already boosted him for gameplay. Level design, which is Michelle. And then we had Jonathan, I think, for engine work. So we'll wait for him to come up. So far, in terms of the mix, we're incredibly designed. Well, actually, we're pretty balanced, which means we're kind of too heavy on design. Hopefully, when we boost Jonathan here, it makes a difference. Here's, that's what I'm hoping, anyway. Part of the issue is I have all these design specialists with dialogue specialists, story and quest specialists, and graphics. Well, graphics isn't actually design heavy. Of course, this is all preparation for Deus Equis, which I want to be our first 10 across the board. Granted, if this game does well, it's going to hurt our chances of getting 10 across the board on the next game. Still, hopefully, if we bring out a new game engine and all the other stops, maybe it'll work out for us. Oh, and the inbox one just came out. Yeah, we're definitely not going to have any data on this next console cycle before we make our big sequel to Deus Equis. That's unfortunate, but what are you going to do? Anyway, actually, I actually have no idea how long this takes. I guess it's going to stop when we hit here. In terms of hype, we're already at 427. I really hope this game does well. Anyway, market analysis. That is normalized. Here's our biggest concern, though. I don't think the marketing campaign is going to finish in time. It needed 1,000. We're nowhere close. I might jack up the budget. Yeah, we're definitely not doing a custom console for the next game. Unless we make a fuck ton of money on this game. Anyway, how are we going to divide this? In terms of sound, we'll put Art Johnson here. Perfect. And then all the features. Well, not all the features. A lot of the features. Virtual economy. That's not really necessary. Let's just do these. Ooh, good enough. Or can I increase this? Yeah, I don't have to increase this much. Okay, yeah, that looks good. So we'll release this. We'll have to, we have to jack up this budget. It's too low. There's no point of putting all this money for a marketing campaign if I don't actually get a damn marketing campaign out of this. I really hope this works out. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're not going to go bankrupt, but I'm a little concerned about some of these mixes. You know, fuck it. Let me hitting all these boosts because, well, I'm not really sure whether one, I don't know whether this mix is good. And two, I don't know what happens if we don't finish this campaign before this finishes. Oh man, that's I even have $2.4 million. This is not getting anywhere close to it. Oh, also the play system four is out. So yeah, another console. is really cutting it close we're 150 away this is really close to finishing 100 away well almost 100 away it's is it gonna make it i mean i still have debugging so maybe it works i don't know so we're currently at 712 still increasing and we finished the marketing campaign did anything happen i don't think so uh-oh However, our hype is pretty high. Was that because I did a large campaign or is that because the marketing campaign was going on as we we're making the game? I don't know. It's kind of tricky. I'm gonna decrease the budget though. At this point, I don't think it's necessary. We'll increase it again for our next game because apparently 1.5 million just wasn't enough. Inbox 360 is off the market. Though we've seen earlier that the game being off the market doesn't seem to do all that much, so we're probably okay. Anyway, finish. Again, we made a very balanced game, but it's kind of okay since we have so many design specialists. It's sort of expected. And the important thing is, do we make a lot of money? It's really all I care about. Anyway, we leveled up again in a few things. So, hopefully we unlock some more research. We have 400 research points. We're going to use all that towards researching features. So, let's see that uh, final review. Well, after this stuff. Advanced physics. That's engine work. Do I need that? No, I guess I don't really need engine work for uh, this game. Eee, quirky but good. Uh huh. Well, this is not great. But as long as we make a lot of money, I think I'm okay. Yeah, I mean, it's a 6.75. Could be worse. I think I'll leave the hardware budget at this amount. It's a reasonable amount. No, no, it's not. Because then I can't do Deus Equis. Okay, hardware budget is going... Actually, hardware finished, didn't it? So I don't need to be doing hardware anymore. 
Okay. So we're gonna decrease the hardware budget, but more importantly, we're interested in the final game report and the final sales numbers. So first up, the game report, it thoroughly confuses me. Alternative history and action is a great combination. Gameplay is very important, which is fine. The audience match is also great, but sure in alternative history. So what could the problem be? Because I know action is good or great for all three systems, and I know Mature is either good or great for all three systems, yet still the game did pretty poorly. In terms of time allocation, I did the same as our previous game, which did pretty damn well. So the only possibility we have left is AAA games, and maybe we didn't have enough features. After all, that's what we're really short on. Maybe because we don't have enough features, we're not getting enough high design tech points to compete with other AAA games. That's a distinct possibility. Still, for the final sales numbers, it wasn't bad. We made about as much money as Luigi's Chainsaw Roundup, but we spent a fuck ton more money. So, I'm not really sure whether doing a AAA game was worth it in this case. It doesn't really seem like it anyway. Still, we need to do more AAA games just to get a better understanding of what we need. Maybe at the current state, we just don't have enough features. So maybe I shouldn't do Deus Ex's next episode. Well, we'll see next episode. But that's it for this episode. So, once again, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time.